often the mecca for gamblers, sees the jackpot payoff of a political long shot. Bearing 26th of July banners, joyous followers of Fidel Castro sweep triumphantly through the Cuban capital hours after their rebellion had toppled the regime of Fulgencio Batista. The 26th of July refers to that day in 1953 when Castro began his long struggle to overthrow the dictator Batista with an abortive armed attack. With Batista in flight to the Dominican Republic, the celebrating soon turns to mob action and looting. Gambling machines get the axe. Other demonstrations at the University of Havana, where rebel leader Castro first gained prominence. He led student protests against the bloodless coup that brought Batista to power in 1952. American tourists who happen to be present when history is in the making seek refuge at the U.S. Embassy. They are taken safely to the airport. And flown back home to safety in the U.S.A. Rebel fighters, fresh from the battlefield in central Cuba, pour into the capital to impose martial law and quell the rioting. Beards, a style established by Castro himself, are the uniform of the day for the rebels. Castro follows a more leisurely itinerary to Havana. When he began this campaign with a handful of men, he said, I will be a hero or a martyr. At 31, he's very much a hero. Mm -hmm.